My name is Thiago Hosha and I want to welcome you to the Cookproof channel. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button and activate the notifications to find out when the next video is coming up. Today I'm going to show you how to carry your board. There's different types of boards that we use and I want to show you how to carry them. Stick around, let's roll the intro. So these are four types of boards that we use to carry them around for kite surfing. Normally people always try to get a handle to work with a, with a with kite surfing. And so we carry it like this, where it's hitting our legs. And this, some people say it's the balance point. Yes, it's true, it's the balance point. There's no wind, so it's quite balanced like this. But it's still, if I want to move it, I have to make a lot of strength on my wrist to make it to move. But what about the other ones? They don't have a handle. How do you carry them? So if you're using one of these, you're going to put it on the side, grab on the rail and have it against your body. So you have the whole arm to make movements with the board. It's quite easy to change position. So if you use a surfboard, you're also going to grab it, put it on the side and carry it like this. You don't really need the handle. You just have the board without it and carry it the same way. Just grab it on the side, hold the rail and you can take the board no problem. So without wind, it's hard to, to test this out. We can easily hold them and have them on our hand. But let's check it out what happens if we do have wind holding it on the handle or holding it on the rail. Let's check it out. So to get the wind we're gonna go and go on a boat ride. Thanks to Fisherman Augusto we're gonna take you on a boat ride to test how the board reacts to the wind. So you can see I get some force. Of course if it's light wind it's not a big problem. When it's stronger wind it's kind of pushing against my elbow and hurting me. If I grab it like this, it's gonna push behind. It's not hard for me to keep control. Instead of holding it on the rail, where it's easy and I have a much easier force to go against it. Here, if I want to push it down, it's not the easiest. Thanks, Nero Augusto, they were taking us for this ride. Hope you liked this tutorial, and if you did, please click the like button, leave a comment, and let me know what you think about it. 